Alright, so check it out. This is Waltress. The first ever PowerPC assembler and disassembler that's written in PowerPC. Alright, let's load it up. So anyway, what Waltress can do is she is a program that can assemble uh, source code for you that's written in PowerPC or she can disassemble it from a binary file. All right, so if you're assembling, you'll need a file called source.s, all right, and that's to assemble uh, PowerPC instructions into bytecode. If you're disassembling, you need a binary file called uh, code.bin, and that would be uh, disassembled into a source. So a really good uh, way to show that this works is that we're actually going to take one of Waltress's engine files because she runs on two engine files, one for the assembler, one for the disassembler. We'll take one of those files, we'll disassemble it, all right, and then we'll reassemble it, and then we'll compare the hash to the uh, original file, and there should be a match. So anyway, um, I'll put a link in the uh, description below to the MarioKartWeed.com thread about this program. Uh, it'll include a quick guide, you know, and download links and all that other stuff. So let's exit back to a HBC. And put this. All right. So let's just look into the Waltress folder in the apps folder of the uh, SD device. So this is your boot.dull, you know, typical icon PNG uh, and uh, meta.xml and these are the two engine files. So we'll take the assembler file. Um, it's 43 uh, kilobytes um, and the disassembler is about 22. So we'll take this, we'll copy it and then we'll paste it in and then we'll so when you're disassembling, Waltress expects a binary file called code.bin in the Waltress folder. And then we'll rename. All right. So there we go. Uh, and if you're assembling um, source code, PowerPC source code, um, you would need a source.s file instead. So we got our code.bin, which is an exact copy of the assembler engine, OK? And we're going to disassemble it using Waltress, and then we're going to reassemble it. All right. Unmount. Put it back in the Wii. There we go. All right, so it says press B to disassemble. All right, we're going to press B on the controller. All right, we got success. Code bin has been dis disassembled. Disassembled contents are in source.s file at apps slash Waltress. Press home or whatever to exit. Cool, cool. Put this back in the computer. All right, open it back up. back to Waltress. Alright, so we can delete the code.bin, the copy of a bin.bin. We don't need it anymore. And plus, it can't be there, or cannot be there when we uh, reassemble. So delete that. And let's check out the source.s. Load it up and look at it. And um, for assembling, there is some strict format requirements required. Or, I mean, strict format requirements that have to be followed. Um, this thing is gigantic. It's huge. I mean, we got all kinds of crap here. Let's just scroll through it really quick. All these instructions. Um, some simplified mnemonics are supported. Unfortunately, one of the groups of instructions that is not supported is branch instructions because there's so many simplified mnemonics, it's a pain. But anyway, there it is. That is the source.s for a bin.bin. So we're going to reassemble this. All right. Unmount. There we go. 
back into the Wii, load Waltress back up. All right, and it says press A to assemble. So we're gonna press the A button. Success, source.s has been assembled. Assembled instructions are in code.bin file, located at app slash Waltress. Eh, there we go. Go back to focus back in, there we go. Exit. All right. SD device in the Wii. Okay. And we don't need the source file anymore. We can delete that. So now we have the code.bin that was assembled. And all we have to do is just run a basic hash checking mechanism. We can use uh, SHA-256. SHA-256. SUM. And we'll just check sum all the files just because I'm too lazy to type the command out. And then we need to check abin.bin and code.bin. So we look at abin.bin 257.1df. And you go right down to code.bin 1df257. So the hashes are an exact match. So everything was disassembled and reassembled correctly. Um, the video is already getting too long. Obviously, if you want to go ahead and try it for the disassembler engine, dbin.bin. Uh, feel free, you'll see that is an exact match as well, proving that Waltress can completely disassemble and reassemble herself, you know, using Waltress. All right, well, um, thanks for watching. Um, here's a little preview of the thread. So this is the thread, and just gives you a quick guide, download links and all that. Uh, I'll put a link to this uh, thread in the uh, description below. All right, uh, thanks for watching.